Okay, so in this video, we'll be looking at how you can start creating conversion ads. Okay, now it's important that you've gone through all the other videos before going through this particular video. All right, you should have understood how to create your ads before you should consider um, watching this video on conversion ads. All right. Having said that, we'll be looking at two types of conversion ads. So we're going to look at um, conversion ads that require you to have a PCL code on your website for those persons who are directing people to their web pages. Okay, so if you have a funnel, this is what you should be doing. On the second video, we'll be looking at how you can have a conversion ad, which I call the message conversion ads, if you don't have a website. So you if you don't have a website, you make use of message conversion ads. All right, so let's uh, dive right into it. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have um, set up your PCL um, in your ad manager. Okay, so I'm right here on ad manager right here. See, so we will go to PCL. You can see PCL right here. If you don't see yours here, all you go to all you go to all tools. Okay. And then you go to major and reports and you're going to see event manager right there when you see uh, P sales. Okay, so you click on it. Now once you click on it, it should show you a page where you have to set up your P cell. Okay, so P cell is a piece of code that you have to paste on your website, like I've explained before. Okay. Now, once the page loads completely, if you've not created it before, it's going to ask you to create. If, you, if you've created before, you basically just have to set it up, right? So you can see right here, it says create a pixel, okay? So this just allows you to track um, website activities and improve your return on advertising. So it just helps you to, you know, do more with your advertising, um, have uh, better returns with less spends okay so you can reach even new and existing customers that's what they call retargeting okay but that's a little bit advanced but once you get a group of using p cells and conversion ads it will be very easy for you to do all right so let's go ahead and create a p cell so click on that and we can say Jonathan p cell i'm going to use the website i'm going uh, will have on here Myspace.com. So that should be your website URL. Okay. I'll create that. Now you see it says uh, you've created your PCL. Now make it work by installing some code. So we have to get some piece of code to um, put into our web pages. Okay. So what we need to do right now is to make sure that uh, we have our web pages ready. Okay, now you can see right here, use a partner account to set up the P cell. Okay, um, we are using WordPress. Okay, but we want to do it manually. Okay, so I'm going to set it up manually. Okay, so these are the codes uh, that we need to input in our words. But for that, let's make sure that we have our pages so i'm going to create a page right here okay by the way you already know that you can create your page using insta builder which you already have access to okay so create a new page and we call this um, confirmation okay now this confirmation page is the page that we're going to have our code whichever event that we want which i'll be talking more on all right this is where we're going to have the code on all right so if if you are sending people to your website okay like you're sending people to an opt-in page okay you're sending people to an opt-in page you're not going to have the code on that opt-in page rather you're going to have the code on the confirmation page so if after the people they type in their details in your um, 
sign up form okay what is that code that that what is that page that will load after um, the click on the submit button is it your sales page okay so you put the code on your sales page not on your opt-in page so if you are using a form page if people have to land on a form page okay if you are landing on the form page from facebook you don't have the code on the form page rather you have the event code on your confirmation page okay so the page that will load after they click on submit okay that'll say um congratulations we've received your order we'll send your order to you that is where you should have your event code okay now you can generally have you can have the, you have you can have the general facebook piece of code which we'll of, of course we'll look at on any of the pages and that's fine okay but the event code has to be on specific pages which you want to make sure that people have gone past the initial stage so if you want people to um, if if you want people to get to um the event of pushes it should be probably where they've completed uh, the order all right so it shouldn't be your event code should be on the first page that people land on it should be on the confirmation page i hope you understand that okay now we are going to create this page using um uh, insta builder okay so i'm going to publish this page right here So I'm going to assume that um, this is a sales page, okay? So I'm going to have my PCL, my event code on the sales page, okay? Let me launch editor. So we'll have the event code on the sales page. Now, if you are going to your website, it's not your sales page you're going to see, right? It depends on the kind of funnel you're using, by the way, we've explained, we've talked about that in previous videos i'm not here to talk about uh, funnel pages okay so we have lots of uh, templates right here let me just choose one sales page so um, okay so let's use this so we've talked about some um, sales pages the, you know, i'm sorry um, your funnel pages okay your, the type of your funnel your it could be um from Facebook to your pre-sell then to sales page to other page or directly from Facebook to um, your sales page okay all right so this is going to be our sales page okay it's still loading so let's allow it to load complete so we'll see the different elements right here all right so here we can see um, that the page is completely loaded okay so for Insta Builder what you need to do is go to your settings and uh, you're going to see um, scripts and codes okay right there and you see head scripts okay and body scripts all right so now if you head over to let's go back to facebook pcl we are web generation now pcl you can see this code right here this is the code that we're going to have on our header because you can see paste the pcl code at the bottom of the header section just above the closing tag okay this is a closing tag all right you don't have to understand what i just said okay just copy this code right here just copy this first code okay this is a very mighty code you can see it's, it's a lot of code so you just copy this simple code and then head over, head over to your page and you have it right here okay it, it says your head script so we're going to paste that code there and then we'll come back to facebook and then we'll click on continue okay now on this continue page you're going to see different events that you probably want to track is you, you want to track pushes okay so is it that when people purchase something you want um this to show or is it that you just want leads okay or complete registration for someone who um you're directing people to your sales page you probably want to use lead okay for someone who who, who is uh, um using an, a, a form okay so probably people get to a point where they fill your order form and you show them the um, confirmation message of their order okay meaning you are going to have this purchase uh, event code 
right there all right so we're going to um use the purchase event code okay so i'm going to take that and uh, you're going to see this code right here if you hover here you can see, you can see that it's not showing you to copy it so just copy this one that shows you copy code to clip so we'll just click on that okay now if you look here it shows copy the event code snippet you can add parameters to saying blah 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 then right here you see place the event code on your other confirmation page so just what i just explained to you guys said so add the event code just below the closing head tag okay so this allows the event code to load along so below the closing head tag you are going to find the body okay so it's going to be on the body you don't have to just just follow what i'm doing okay so you get you come over here you're going to see body scripts here so remember we read here that it's going to be on the body okay so you can see here you can see what is right here body okay so we're going to have it we're going to have it on our body script so post paste that particular code right there and we save okay that's it it's been saved okay so now we come back here and simply and simply click on done okay that is it We've successfully installed the PC code on this page, so we can view the code so that uh, we can view the page so the the code can be active. Okay, the PC can be active, so Facebook sees that uh, um, there is activity on the on the page that we have our Porsche's uh, event code on. Okay, so we're going to head over here and. Let me refresh that. All right, so we already have an event because, of course, we've just viewed the page that we had that code on. Okay, so you can see one event received and it says Porsches right here. Now, the beauty of conversion ads is that this allows Facebook to only charge you when the event is triggered so if you have a funnel whereby you're taking people to a pre-sale first or to an opt-in page then to um an other page or whatever it is facebook will only charge you when they get the when the particular event you want is triggered okay so even though people land on your opt-in page you won't be charged until they successfully sign up into your list to see your sales page or probably they feel they've been able to fill your other form to see the confirmation message i hope that is clear okay now we're going to head over to creating an ad okay so how do you create an ad a conversion ad once you have your pixel code set up on your website and you've created it on your ad manager now we're going to head back to ad manager right here all right so we are already on ads manager and we'll click on create ad so here you are going to see um, the different kind of um, um, objectives okay so most of the time when i ask you guys what is your goal what's your objective this is what i'm talking about a lot of you don't really watch the videos that you have and that is quite really annoying okay so anyway you click on conversions okay you can name this anything you want anything you want it does not matter so if if you, you can name it any, anything you can even leave it as conversion so you, you can even say um uh, say you are selling a hair product and let's say hair conversion just anything okay so we'll click on continue and then right here you can name your ad sets okay here anything okay it does not matter all right so let's um, this is loading up now because this is a conversion ad you're going to see this right here okay so it's still loading now you can see right here all kind of conversion ads are we looking at we are looking at website conversion 
okay we are not looking at messenger conversion now in the next video i'm going to talk about messenger conversion and how you can create it so here you simply click make sure this is ticked and then we're going to select the conversion that we need of course it is pushes you can see that even that it, it has you can see that it's active because it has received an event okay so if you want view content you simply have the event code on the page if you want out of basket you simply have have the event code on that page and you make sure you activate it by visiting that page hope that's clear so we're going to click on portions here okay so once that is clicked all we just need to do is choose every other thing the way we do to create our ads okay and then you click on continue okay once you click on continue you complete your ad and facebook will only charge you once people get to this page where you have this event code installed okay i hope that is clear so in the next video we'll be talking about how you can create your words your messenger conversion ads